Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. Now this one is a little bit different because today I'm going to be building a mini Jaguar enclosure. Uh, as you can see, this is the base of my enclosure and I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on my journey of turning this into the best possible mini diorama enclosure. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Right, so I've got my super glue gun all heated up. And we're just gonna we're just gonna get started sticking stuff down. So to the right of me, I've got lots of things that I can put in the enclosure. Um, and I think I might start with the biggest pieces first. So these are climbing logs. Um, obviously, jaguars like to climb and be high up, so it's very important to have um, some sort of climbing opportunities for them in their enclosure. Um, so I'm not entirely sure where I want to have these, how I want to have them. I'm sort of going off how it looks on the camera. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking something like this, we need sort of a stable base. I might have them crossing over each other, or maybe just sort of crossing over like this. The whole the whole gluing thing is a little bit, a little bit sketchy, but we will give it a bit of a go. So we're gonna want to have Quite a bit of glue here. Gotta be quick because this glue is gonna set. This one has routes, so I need to stick another glue thing in. Ah! Oh my god, okay. Let's just quickly glue this and get this one stuck down. How about we? Um, I think I had it like this, didn't I? Okay. Right, so where are we going to have this? We're going to have this right here. So now, just hold it in place for a little bit. And uh, hopefully that will stick down. Now we're going to want to stick this one down. So make sure that it sticks in place. Now oh, these two, yeah, these two are firm. All right, there we go. So this is the main sort of climbing structure. Uh, to the enclosure. I'm going to sit up a little bit higher just so I can have more of a view. So next up uh, I've got a lot of plants and foliage and I think yes I've actually got more up here as well which I completely forgot about. Um, so obviously jaguars they live in rainforests and jungles and they have a lot of cover um, and they're quite secretive in giant animals as well so they do need a lot of foliage got a good mix of stuff here um, and I think I'm just gonna just stick it down. So I'll, I'll make a few clumps of it um, and then if I'm happy with where it is then I can uh, stick it down there. Obviously I'm gonna want to mix it with some of the other coloured ones as well. Actually, before I add more, I'll just start sticking all this stuff down. Please don't set on fire. We've still got all the trees and stuff to do. I'm trying to be neat with these. I don't really want uh, to be able to see the super glue. So I've just got to hold that down for a while, just really push it, to make sure that it stays in position, there we go, oh we've got a fancy fancy tree here, look at this, okay right so I'm back, uh, as you can see I've put down a lot more foliage, it was just taking a while and it was quite fiddly so um, I just thought I'd do a bit of a cut there. But next up, we have our next major thing we are going to be adding, the house. Now, I actually bought this for pets at home, and I think it's for like hamsters or something, but if you stick it right here, uh, it actually like, goes perfectly well as like a little Jaguar house. Uh, so I'm gonna stick it right here. So we are basically gonna put glue all along here. And 
And a presto. So that is the house now done. Um, trying to figure out which way this roof goes on. Don't think it matters. But there we go. Right, so the next thing that's going to go into the enclosure is this. Now this is going to be uh, the pool for the Jaguars. Obviously Jaguars love to swim. It's just going to have to get quite a bit of glue on it. Um, put some on this as well. Just for that extra stick factor. And then squish, push it down. There we go. And now we can add just some more plants around it. And this can go down right here. It's all overhangs in the pool. Obviously, I will actually fill this up with water as well uh, at the end. Now I'm going to put some enrichment in, in the form of this. So if you've ever been to a zoo before, and you may notice that the big cats are given these big sort of boomer balls, and this represents that. Obviously, the bell in it is quite annoying. I think this is a cat toy. stick it down because obviously enrichment uh, in enclosures is essential we've got quite a lot of enrichment items in here obviously we have the climbing stuff we have all the foliage you can hide in we've got the toy ball we've got the water pool as well so yeah what else is there to do maybe I can incorporate a little bit more of this sort of brown foliage uh, to the enclosure we can have a little sort of muddy area for them to dig in be another good sort of enrichment item. Right guys, I think that is about it for this enclosure. I think we are finally done. Um, so I'm just gonna do maybe a few minor adjustments to it off camera and then I'll show you some cinematics. <laughs>